For the essay question, some of you misunderstood the question and that's why you answer incorrectly. And first of all, let me explain the question. Let, let me explain the proposals and the reform here first. So the first point I would like to talk about is about the labor market. One of the proposals is like this. Macron proposes to raise the amount of time people have to work to be entitled to an employment benefit. What does it mean? It means that if somebody becomes unemployed, he may not be able to get the unemployment benefit from the government if he hasn't worked for a certain period of time before. So what I mean is, say for example, if you want to get the unemployment benefit, then after your graduation, maybe you have to work for uh, half a year, for one year first. And unluckily, you get fired, you get unemployed, then you can ask for unemployment benefit. If after your graduation, you are directly unemployed, without getting any job over, then you can't receive anything from the government. So this is what it means by this amount of time, right? And the government proposes to raise the amount of time. And some of you okay, mentioned something like that in your mock practice. You said that mm, that means they have, to lead, uh, they have to work longer hours per day before getting the unemployment benefit. Does it mean that they have to work longer hours, say for example 10 hours, 12 hours per day, before getting the unemployment benefit? It doesn't mean so, right? They have to work for a period of time before they can get the unemployment benefit. But lots longer hours per day, not 10 hours, 12 hours per day. They can work for 6 hours per day, but after half a year, if they are fired, then they can get the unemployment benefit. So what does it mean by this proposal? It means that they need to work for a longer period, say for example one year then they can get the unemployment benefit if they are luckily unemployed afterwards. And the second point I would like to explain is about the reform on the pension system. And I have extracted the question from the sources here. And then Macron proposes to replace 42 separate pension schemes with one single scheme. He argues that the current system has the following problem. So that means the bullet point here is about the problem of the existing system. This is the existing problem. And Macron is trying to fix it. It's trying to fix it. And then let us look at this problem. The first problem is that certain profession can retire very early and receive generous pension. That means the current system encourages some of the people to retire very early. And Macron wants to fix it, right? And that's why the reform would make people retire earlier or later. Of course, later, because Macron is going to fix the problem where some people retire very early. And some of you in your mock practice, you just say that the people retire very early. This is totally incorrect. On the contrary, the reform will make the people retire later. Then the third problem is here, so this is the second bullet point of the reform on pension system. That means this is also the problem of the existing system. What problem is it? It says that the workers who have had several jobs and statuses during their career will receive lower pensions after their retirement. And that means before the reform, if the people have changed their jobs in their life, they will receive a smaller amount of pensions after their retirement. So I guess there shouldn't be any problem for this. However, some of you may not understand what it means by statuses. Actually, in the labor market, there are several statuses, right? People can be employed, underemployed, or unemployed. These are statuses that we can have in the labor market. And that's why what it means it means that if people have been unemployed before in their life, then they will receive a smaller amount of pensions after their retirement.